Hello and welcome to Finest Hour. I'm Philip Soy, back here for my third and final stint on the show whilst Guy Garvey is away. Before I head off into the sunset, there's a lot of great music that I still want to share with you. Today I've got tracks from Lone Wolf, This Mortal Coil, Ghost Poet, Tinder Sticks, Drugstore, Orange Juice and many more. We'll also revisit what will no doubt be a very popular castaway from the Desert Island Discs archive. Enough yabba though, and on with the music. We open the show with Teardrop Explodes and Reward, and next up is the Quantic Soul Orchestra and Pushing On. That was the Quantic Soul Orchestra and Pushing On. So thanks for all the tweets and messages um, about the show these past few weeks. They've been greatly appreciated. Uh, And it may take me a little longer to respond this week as I should be travelling back from a camping trip as this show is going out. Uh, The camping trip is is happening in memory of a young friend, Cadian, who remains an inspiration to all who knew him. And so I'd like to dedicate today's show to him. This next track is from an artist I played the other week. She's Lone Lady, and this is a song called Groove It Out. That was Crimes by Lone Wolf, and before that a tune from another loner, Lone Lady and Groove It Out. Lone Wolf is the alter ego of Leeds-based Paul Marshall, and I had the very good fortune to tour with him a couple of years ago. Uh, And that track was from his new album Lodge, which was released in May of this year, and will be the last release under the moniker Lone Wolf. He'll be laying that identity to rest with a final show at Leeds Brudenall Social Club on Saturday, September the 12th, One that'll be, uh, I should imagine, really well worth going to if you have the chance. This, though, is Lloyd Cole and the Commotions and Rattlesnakes. That was Lloyd Cole and the Commotions and Rattlesnakes from the album of the same name. I confess that I once got so wrapped up in that record uh, when I was driving... Uh, that I got put for speeding. Uh, God knows what would have happened if I'd been listening to Slipknot instead. Anyway, just for the record, I'd like to say I'm an extremely safe driver these days, especially if you're listening from my insurance company. Iggy Confidential Music. Next, a singer who more or less sealed the legend of a Stax label. This is Otis Redding and Hard to Handle. That was Otis Redding and Hard to Handle. Moving along, here's a track from a a duo from Los Angeles called Holy Child. They are Liz Nistico and Louis Diller, and this is a song called Running Behind from their debut album, The Shape of Brat Pop to Come, and it's released on Glass Note Records. That was Running Behind by Holy Child. So does anybody fancy a track from Pins? I do. This is Too Little, Too Late. In 1984, uh, This Mortal Coil, uh, signed to 4AD, released an album called It'll End in Tears, which is, incidentally, also the name of a, a rather fine song, which was released last year by yours truly. Um, but self-aggrandizement aside, this is This Mortal Coil with Song to the Siren. The that was Song to the Siren by This Mortal Coil. Still to come up, we've got music from Richard Hawley, Charles Mingus and Ghost Poet. I'm Philip Selway, sitting in for Guy Garvey, and this is the BBC Six Music News. That was Rock Creek Park by the Blackbirds, uh, a group that was put together by jazz trumpet legend Donald Bird, or to give him his full name, Donaldson Toussaint Louverture Bird II, a name so good the family used it twice. Next, I have a single from Richard Hawley, a man who is a gent scholar and all-round musical wizard. This is a song called Which Way, and it's from his upcoming album Hollow Meadows, which will be released on September the 11th. And that was Richard Hawley and Which Way. Next, we have international woman of mystery, 
and music, we have Becapedia. Now then. Now then. I'm Philip Selway, and uh, I know I harp on a lot about drummers and drumming, but sometimes it's only right to give some consideration, but not too much, to the other part of the rhythm section equation, bassists. This next track is from a jazz great who arrived at the bass via the trombone and then the cello and played with the likes of Louis Armstrong and Charlie Parker um, before establishing himself as a band leader. I'm talking, of course, about the great Charles Mingus. And this is his track called Moaning. That was Moaning by Charles Mingus. Now, I remember when Radiohead got invited to play at Scott Walker's Meltdown Festival. This was quite a while back. And after the show, um, we got to meet him. Uh, lovely man, very warm and welcoming. I, however, was tongue-tied and completely awestruck, but no surprise, really, given the man's musical output. And this is a track from the man himself. This is The Plague. <laughs> That was Off Peak Dreams by Ghost Poet, and before that, Celebrity Skin from Hole, a band that had a roll call of former members that practically read like a phone book. Coming back to Ghost Poet, I had a great afternoon with him the other week, actually. We spent uh, time talking for a podcast for for the talk house which we talked about life music and everything um which was great really really enjoyed that anyway next we have a track called music is math and this is from the wonderful boards of canada that was boards of canada and music is math i'm pretty sure that i've never come across anyone who doesn't like at least one of David Bowie's musical guises. Um, So here's the things that we can all agree on. I wish there were more of them. This is David Bowie and Suffragette City. That was White Bleachers and Bad Character. White Bleachers are an Australian four-piece band from Melbourne and they've got that uh, great healthy dose of psychedelic garage rock going on there. Next is a track from Tinder Sticks. This is from their um, 2003 album, Waiting for the Moon. It's the opening track off that record. And I've always been intrigued by the lyric on this one. It's dark, but it's oddly beautiful and really stays with you. This is Tinder Sticks and Until the Morning Comes. I'll figure out what that lyric means one day. That was Until the Morning Comes by Tinder Sticks, that wonderful, soulful voice of Stuart Staples. Still to come up in the show, we have uh, what will be a very popular Desert Island Discs, going back into the archives to hear from somebody I think will be very familiar to you. But before that, um, we have a song from Elliot Moss. Uh, He's a multi-instrumentalist, songwriter, producer and visual artist. A bit of an all-round clever clocks, really. He's from New York and this is a song called Slip from his album High Speeds. That was Charles Bradley and How Long. Um, Charles Bradley is actually signed to a great label, Daptone Records. He was born in 1948, but actually waited until 2011 to release his debut album, which was called No Time for Dreaming. I have to say it was worth the wait. And that was a track from that record. Next, we have a song from Drugstore. Spent many, many months touring with them around around the States and around Europe uh, when they were opening for Radiohead. Wonderful people, wonderful band. Uh, this is a track called Devil. That was Lala and Java and a song called Pardon à l'Africa. I've got an A level in French, don't you know? So, where in the world is Guy Garvey? I don't know, but I've been keeping his seat warm for the past three weeks. And for those of you who are missing his voice, well, I've delved back into the Desert Island Discs archive and found his episode 
which was broadcast last August, August 2014. So here he is, the wonderful Guy Garvey. You've said that when you're inside a song... Music. Shortly, I've actually got to make way for for Sparks as they're sitting in for, for Jarvis right after this show. I'll try to avoid any, any puns, bad puns, on this town ain't big enough for the both of us. I'm not going there. Next, I have a track from one of my idols from when I was a teenager. I remember going into the hairdressers once with the a record cover for an album called Rip It Up, which had a wonderful picture of um, Edwin Collins on the front, um, pointing at the picture and saying, I want to look like that, please. Um, my hair wasn't playing ball, unfortunately. It let me down, which became a familiar pattern for my life. So this song is from Orange Juice. It's called Rip It Up. That was Slaves and Cheer Up London. Uh, it was a remix with Gemma and Mike Skinner. So that's about it for me, I'm afraid. Thanks so much for listening for these past three weeks. I've had a great time playing you all this music. Um, so just one more thing, one more tune. This is Carly Simon and Nobody Does It Better. Makes me feel sad. 